The following is a special presentation from SDBN. Toronto, Ontario, an international city of arts, culture, and sporting excellence, will today play host to one of the biggest events of the century, the running of Scott Dion Brown's 1,000 subscriber indie. Hello, everybody. I'm Scott Dion Brown. And I'm Regina Lena, and we are so excited to be bringing you this historic event that happens only once every 1,000 subs. That's right, Regine. The eyes of the world are fixed on the city of Toronto today to find out the answer to one question. Who will raise the 1,000 subscriber cup? And we will soon find the answer to that question as we're only minutes away from race time. But before someone can raise the cup, they have to win it. So let's find out what our competitors have to go through to win the 1,000 subscriber indie. Today's event is a grueling 1,000 meter race. One meter for every fantastic subscriber to this channel. The track itself is 400 meters in circumference, so our competitors will have to navigate two and a half laps to reach the finish line. There are two sets of pylons at each end of the track that our drivers will have to zigzag their way around, as well as a jump at the 100 meter mark. They will also find a few obstacles around the 300 meter mark in the form of construction vehicles. Apparently, they were doing some road work on the track and didn't finish in time. There it is, your path to victory at the 1,000 subscriber Indy. Well, I don't know about you, Regine, but that race looks tough. It sure does, Scott. Our drivers are gonna need to give it all they've got if they want a taste of victory. And who are these drivers who are gonna be racing for the cup today? Let's meet them. In the pink 69 car, Colin Campbell. In the red number 8 colon colon D car, Taylor Brown. In the yellow number 5 car, Giovanni Ironman Agostini. In the blue number 10 car, Scott Dion Brown. Well, Scott, we've met our drivers, we know the rules, and there's only one last thing to do. That's right, Regine. It's race time. So let's head to the track for the running of Scott Dion Brown's 1,000 subscriber Indy. Scott Dion Brown's 1,000 subscriber Indy. Brought to you by Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about more. Shoutouts to Dry Bowser the Ultimate King, Haley Midget, Abby Garvita, Skullboy Gamer, Monster Jam Fanatic, Carlo Bianchini Music, Moner Poodle, Pokemon A Mad Master, Parmendaries, Soul Dog, Veronica Saba, and every one of you 1,000 plus subscribers. Thank you for all your support. And here's Valerie with the starting pistol. Our racers are warming up before the starting gun. Driver, start your engine! On your mark. Get set. And they're off. Taylor Brown takes an early lead. They're approaching the pylons now. But Colin is making a move here. And oh my goodness, he's taken out Taylor. Scott Dion Brown's car has flipped over as well. Colin Campbell has taken the lead. Taylor putting his driver back in the car. I hope he's not injured. Colin in the pink 69 car is breaking away from the pylons and making his way towards the jump. Giovanni Agostini in the yellow number 5 car is second. And Scott Dion Brown in the blue number 10 is third. What an electrifying start to this race. Incredible atmosphere in the stadium. And Colin executes the jump. 
and Gio in the yellow car executes the jump. Scott Dion Brown and Taylor Brown both take the jump. All cars now into the 100 meter straightaway. Colin already with a sizable lead, followed by Giovanni in the yellow car. Colin's lead appears to be extending, and Taylor Brown has just overtaken Scott Dion Brown. The red number 8 colon colon D car has taken over the blue number 10. And they've just completed a full half lap, now two full laps to go. And Colin Campbell's just arriving at the second set of pylons, and Giovanni in the yellow number 5 car just behind. And Taylor and Scott now arriving at the pylons. All vehicles now make their way through the pylons. And the Pink 69 car has completed the pylons and is pulling away. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we've just received word that there are farm animals on the track. They have wandered on. Nobody expected this. This could be dangerous. My goodness, and the Pink 69 car takes out one of the animals. This is a tragedy, ladies and gentlemen. And the other vehicles have crashed through the herd as well. All the animals have been flattened. Terrible news. All vehicles are now into the second 100 meter straightaway. What a race so far. Colin Campbell in the pink 69 car with a sizable lead. They're now navigating the construction vehicles with relative ease. Oh, but Taylor Brown has run into some trouble with the vehicles. They've slowed him down slightly. And Scott Dion Brown manages to pass through without incident. Taylor Brown attempted to get his car to go faster, didn't seem to work. Colin still with a sizable lead. With Giovanni in the yellow car in second, Taylor Brown in the red car in third, and Scott Dion Brown in the blue car, rounding it out at fourth. All vehicles getting close to completing the first full lap of the race. Now with 1.5 laps to go. And Taylor Brown in the number eight colon colon D car appears to be gaining on Giovanni Agostini in the yellow number five. Great drive. Taylor attempting to make a move. Gio's attempting to block him. And oh my goodness, the yellow car has flipped over. Both vehicles have been driven to a stop. This could be an opportunity for Scott Dion Brown. And Scott Dion Brown pulls ahead of Taylor Brown. He's now in third place. Oh, but Taylor takes him out again. Scott Dion Brown was briefly in third place, but has dropped back down to fourth. Giovanni Ironman Agostini pulling away in second, and Taylor Brown continuing on in third. The Pink 69 car navigated the jump with ease. Oh my, and Taylor Brown has just pulled ahead of Giovanni Ironman Agostini. The number eight colon colon D car has pulled ahead of number five. Scott Dion Brown is following close behind. Fantastic driving from Taylor Brown with those pylons. He really made up some ground. They're approaching the jump now. Not much space between second, third, and fourth place. This really is a race between who will finish second at this point. Can anyone catch Colin Campbell in the pink 69 car? It'll take some incredible driving to catch number 69 at this point. All cars back on the 100 meter straightaway. Colin Campbell in the pink 69 car with a huge lead. Already about to complete another half lap. The other three vehicles significantly behind. And Colin Campbell in the pink 69 car passes the mark, making it one full lap to go. Colin arriving at the pylons now. The other three cars just passing the mark, working so hard to narrow that lead. But can they do it? I don't know. We really must give credit to the mechanics behind Colin, number 69's car. The other three cars finally arriving at the pylons. Colin Campbell already exiting the pylons while the other three navigate their way. Oh, and Scott Dion Brown has just crashed into one of the pylons. He gives up on attempting to pass that one. Hopefully the other drivers don't notice. And now the three remaining cars join Colin in the second 100 meter straightaway. Driving past the flattened corpses of the farm animals. The pink 69 car with a massive lead. Taylor Brown in second place, Giovanni in third, and Scott Dion Brown in fourth. Giovanni navigating the construction vehicles with ease, with Scott Dion Brown following close behind. Colin Campbell now approaching the starting line. We see the checkered flag is out. The checkered flag is out, ladies and gentlemen, signaling there is only half a lap left. 0.5 laps to go with Colin Campbell in a massive lead here in the 1,000 subscriber Indy. Taylor Brown still in second with Giovanni Agostini in third and Scott Dion Brown in fourth. The red number eight, Colin Colin D car passing the checkered flag now. He's in second place. Colin Campbell making his way through the pylons, just passing the last one. 
Giovanni Agostini passing the checkered flag with Scott Dion Brown also just passing the checkered flag. The number eight Colin Colin T car making his way through the pylons with Colin Campbell just approaching the jump. But what's this? He's stopping his vehicle. He's reversing over the jump. Colin Campbell in the paint 69 car obviously feels very confident at this point of the race. He's taunting his opponents. Taylor Brown now approaching the jump. And Colin Campbell's now going off-roading. He is very, very confident at this point. Not at all concerned. Taylor just navigating the jump now. And Colin zigzagging his way along the track. Clearly not concerned at all. Giovanni and Scott now navigating the jump in third and fourth place. And Colin is pulling donuts in the track. Taylor is now very close to him, right behind him on his tail. Colin needs to be careful here. Taylor is right behind Colin. Oh, and Colin slams on the brakes. He is not just trying to win this race. He is trying to take his opponents out. Colin attempted to hit him again, but missed. Taylor is now in first place. Taylor has taken the lead. Unbelievable. They're neck and neck. Taylor is now pulling away. It's going to be close, ladies and gentlemen. They're approaching the finish line, and it's going to be Taylor Brown who will win the 1,000 subscriber Indy with Colin Campbell in second and Giovanni Agostini in third. Wait a minute, what's this? They've re-entered the race. They've crashed into the yellow car. Scott Dion Brown will avoid the wreckage, and Scott Dion Brown will finish in third. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Dion Brown will finish third with Giovanni Agostini in fourth. And Gio could not recover despite throwing his vehicle over the finish line. What a race, ladies and gentlemen. Our drivers are celebrating now. And there you have it. Here are the final standings. Taylor Brown in first place. Colin Campbell in second place. Scott Dion Brown in third place. And Giovanni Agostini in fourth. What an incredible event, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What a race. A huge congratulations to Taylor Brown on winning the 1,000 subscriber Indy. And a special mention to Scott Dion Brown for coming up big to finish third. Well, he did have a little help getting there. Or maybe a lot. <laughs> Let's go back to the stadium now for the closing ceremony. There are athletes standing proud. Truly a great day for the entire planet. Most definitely. Today it is my honor to award the 1,000 subscriber special cup to Taylor the Brown. Taylor hoisting the cup oh. over his head. Sporting history has been made. A legend is born. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for a thousand subs. Like and subscribe for more videos. Oh. Yeah. Such a cool. All right.